So this is project two video demonstration. This is a function generator. I have the screen application running in my terminal on my Mac and it is relaying keyboard presses to the Arduino. Uh, you can ignore most of these wires. The only ones you need to, the ones that are actually important for project two are these three. Um, and this is power and that chip which is the digital to analog converter and then I've got the oscilloscope probe hooked up to this thing and you can see by default when it powers up you have this nice wave 100 Hertz 50% duty cycle square wave and that's what you see on the screen 100 Hertz 50% duty cycle square wave so in our project we had to be able to change from uh, a bunch of different waveforms and a bunch of different frequencies so when I hit W it changes waveform to sine and then to sawtooth triangular wave um, absolute value of sine semicircular wave circular wave bell curve wave when I hit D changes the duty cycle and F changes the frequency I have for, uh, the requirement was 100 Hertz to 500 Hertz and back to 100 and this is what the function generator is outputting I have the oscilloscope on averaging mode so that it will slowly appear to be morphing from one wave to the other but really it's instantaneously changing here I'll, I'll change it back to normal this is what it really looks like when it changes from square to sine and then to sawtooth this is a triangular wave this is our absolute value of sine um, now we're getting into the custom waves that aren't required by the project um, the triangular wave wasn't required either this is a semicircular wave if you zoom in on it it's actually a half circle each each period of it is a half circle and you'll notice that this is actually stepwise it's not continuous I uh, this is how the project works it outputs one frequency for a certain amount of time um, yeah, uh, for, a, for a one hundredth of the period it outputs that that voltage level and then outputs the next one the next hundredth of a period and so each each wave you see has one hundred distinct levels per period so this is the circular wave each period is two semicircles connected together looking like a sine wave but it's actually much more round than a sine wave and the final wave the bell curve wave where it's just a bunch of repeating bell curves so if we change the frequency looks like that and now I'm actually going to change it back to averaging mode because that's much cooler to watch So yeah, when you change frequency, as the professor likes to say, that the, a new wave spawns in between the existing waves, <laughs> just on averaging mode. It doesn't actually look like that, the output, but averaging mode makes it look cool. So this is 500 hertz, as you can see from the readout. And back to 100 hertz. There, 100 hertz. <laughs> so this is the next wave the square wave and you change duty cycles there you go 60% duty cycle 70% 80% you can see the readout here is keeping track of for us 10% 20% 30% 40% back to the original 50% and we'll change frequencies <laughs> this is so entertaining for me just watching the new waves form in between the other existing waves so this is 500 Hertz and then we'll change waves there you go sine wave back to 100 
200, 300, <laughs> 400, 500, and this is the sawtooth wave. This one's probably the most entertaining to watch change frequencies. Triangular wave. Three hundred hertz, four hundred hertz, five hundred hertz. Next wave. Absolute value of sine. <laughs> Two hundred hertz, three hundred hertz, four hundred, five hundred, back to a hundred. Next wave. The semicircular wave. Two hundred hertz. 300 hertz, 400. This one's also really entertaining to watch. How about that? And this circular wave, 100 hertz, 200, and 500. Bell curve wave, 200 hertz, 300, 400. 500. And back to the square wave again. So that's that's my project too. And this thing keeps track of what it's outputting right here and change push W, push F. And if I get back to square wave, it'll show the duty cycle because that's the only one that the duty cycle is relevant for. And then you push D changes the duty cycle. So that's it. That's project two, the function generator. Next I'll hook this up to a speaker and see if I can hear the output. <laughs> Thanks for watching.